And yo, what's shaking? This is Mr. Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur. This house out. This house is crazy. Yeah, my new neighborhood, you dig? New neighborhood, new energy. New surroundings. You know, nice fresh haircut. If I do say so myself, done by yours truly. But you know, uh, what happens after the haircut? Let's talk about it. These are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. 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 I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of raw. So what happens after the haircut? After the haircut is when the true internal work begins. The work that you perform on yourself to make yourself feel good about yourself. We have two forms of um, happiness as human beings, right? And follow me on this. We have the external happiness, which is AKA the, the temporary happiness. And then we have the internal happiness which is the true and only real happiness. So that is the security that keeps us loving ourselves so that when you truly love yourself and you're truly happy with yourself your life changes because you're no longer the prisoner of anyone else's belief system or understanding or misunderstanding or anything else another mansion anyway When you're happy with yourself, you are content and you're okay being around everyone else and anyone else and just being alone, being by yourself. Because when you're alone, you're not lonely because you're happy with yourself. You have be become your best friend and your best um, companion. This whole past year has rocked my world. I'm going to tell you right now, this has been the worst year of my adult life. And I'm, I'm honestly, you know, still coming out of it. I'm still healing. But I've done a year's worth of work, so I'm way ahead of uh, most people when it comes to the healing. Now, a lot of people in my position, a lot of men would say, these people have ruined my life. But no, that's not the case at all. I made some bad decisions and uh, now I'm paying for them because nothing, karma, karma does not escape anyone, good karma or bad. So, the temporary, the temporary happiness, the external happiness is ego. It's, it's, it's led by the ego. Flattery, compliments, what other people think or say about us. That's where the, you know, the social media likes, the dopamine. The attention that's the temporary external happiness it doesn't last which is why we need to keep posting people that 
are always posting, whether it's pictures, video content for physical gratification, temporary, temporary happiness. That's why they have to keep posting that stuff all day and every day because it's dopamine and it doesn't last. It's like a hit, you know. Now, again, I'm not talking about business. I'm talking about people that have to just post content about or some moment that, that they're feeling themselves. They have to post that shit every day because they are not actually happy. So for a lot of us, men and women, you know, the temporary happiness comes from a, 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 a haircut, as you can see. See, I could do that too, baby. You know what I mean? Puts a little pep in your step. For men, it's also a new pair of shoes or, um, you know, a, 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 nice, a nice fit. A uh, woman, it could be a hairstyle, a haircut, hairdo, new head, new haircut, new hairdo, new, uh, you know, get their nails done, their eyebrows, wh whatever it is. Whatever it is, it's usually a physical improvement. And it's a newness that makes you temporarily happy. The question becomes, what happens after the haircut? Right? You're getting all this attention, you're feeling like a new man, a new woman. But what happens after that? How do you how do you keep yourself with feeling that same feeling you had when you got the haircut? That confident feeling, it's confidence, it's security, it's happiness. So it's like a it's like a glow you know that feel good feeling how do you keep that after the haircut well what you do is you look at yourself inward and look at the reasons why these things make you feel so good why does the haircut make you feel so good why does it make you feel like a new you? It makes you feel like a new you because you're getting different type of attention based on your physical changes. This is why women go through great lengths to change their appearance. But after that, after those temporary changes, what happens then? Because they were never really happy with themselves internally. Same thing for men. If you were not happy with yourself internally, it's impossible to be truly happy externally. It's just temporary. Because see, when you feel good about yourself, The external happiness becomes less important. And, even if, and, and you, the funny thing is you'll receive more of it. Because when you're happy about when you're happy with yourself, it shows. Believe it or not, when you're unhappy with yourself, people who are conscious and tuned in to energy they can tell so you might think you're fooling everybody you know um, painting your face with insecurities and uh, sadness misery disguised as happiness disguised as strength 
disguised as fulfillment. Trust me, everybody could tell. It's just a mask. <clears throat> and most importantly, you're the one that has to you're the one that has to deal with that when you go home. When you go home and look in the mirror, it is you. You gotta deal with the reality. So you got to do the work. And the work starts. The work starts um, after the haircut. When you're able to feel good about yourself. Without other people giving you compliments. About some exterior. Then that's when you find happiness. More beauty. Happiness is not something someone can give you or make you feel. Happiness is something only you can acquire for yourself. This is the secret that is seldom told. Because it's easier to uh, put that responsibility of your happiness on others, everyone else. It's not their responsibility. It's your responsibility and yours alone. I am Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur, and I'm working on my happiness. I see you at the top. These are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of.